How many of you have asked yourself this question once or twice? Well, today we're going to try to find ways to answer that question for you anytime it pops up. I'm going to cover the mechanics of re receiving photographs as attachments to your email using several email programs as examples. I'll start off with AOL for the simple reason that that's the one I use and therefore I know it the best. And I'll cover Outlook, Express, and Eudora. And if I think of something else along the way, I'll add to this. Then I'm going to talk about how to organize your files and within those files to organize your photographs. There are lots of ways to do it and we'll cover them all. And finally, I'm going to at least point out that there are lots of different systems that you can use, uh, probably a couple of which are already on your computer and some of which you can download free if they aren't to edit your photographs. So let's talk about the typical way that someone who used America Online would receive a photograph. And there are a lot of things in this typical way that are probably quite similar to a lot of other programs with which you receive email. Let's go to my America Online mailbox and you will see that I have I have put a magnifier up at the top here so that when I put my cursor somewhere else on this screen the part that I'm looking at with the cursor shows up larger up top. Perhaps that will help you see some of the details of this. I have here two emails this one called demo and this one called Demo2, which I have sent myself with the same photograph in them. In the first email, the photograph is actually embedded in the text of the email. I'll show you that in a minute, how it looks. But there's a separate symbol for that. The icon shows this little colored box in the upper right-hand corner of the envelope on, the outside, on, on top of the envelope. That's the symbol in America Online for an email that has a photograph or an image at least in the text. This one here shows a something behind it. It looks like a floppy disk and that is to indicate that this particular email has an attachment, a file that is attached to the email text in this case it's a photograph. So let's look at these two emails. I'll look at the first one by double clicking it and you will see that the email opens and it has in the text the photograph of my granddaughter. Actually that's my great-granddaughter. Now let's go back to the email mailbox list and double click on the second email the one that has an attachment and here once you see that the email has no text in it but it has an attachment indicated down at the bottom it says what the name of the attachment is the suffix tells you what kind of an attachment it is it's a JPEG photograph file and it tells you how big it is that attachment is not yet in my computer. It's in America Online's server somewhere in, <laughs> somewhere in cyberspace or maybe in somewhere in Milwaukee, I don't know. If I want to put that photograph in my computer I have to download it right here. So let's do that. I click on download, I click on download now and it asks me where I want to put it. Well, 
I almost always put files that come as attachments to an email into a folder which is in my documents which is in documents often used which is in America Online Downloads and I've noted that that's big and I've separated the files in there by year. I'm going to put that in 2007 Downloads and it already has a name which is fine with me. It's a JPEG file and that's when I click Save it will start downloading. Now coming from that server in Milwaukee or wherever to my computer and there is the photograph. And since it is a JPEG file which AOL recognizes as harmless, AOL opens immediately as it is downloaded. Other files AOL does not open immediately. It gives your virus program a, uh, a few minutes to, or, or, or some time to look at that file and see if they see if they deem it harmful. So that's the way to download a file which is attached to an email in America Online and to look at a, a picture which is in the, in the body of an email. Now we are going to begin to talk about how to organize your photos. Remember there were two copies of the same photo received through my email program. One was embedded in the text of the email and the other was an attachment to an email. I'm going to cover the second one, the attachment, first. To do this we need to go to My Computer or Windows Explorer not Internet Explorer but Windows Explorer. To get there there are two ways. One, go to Start, up to Programs, up to Accessories and look in Accessories for this icon with a magnifying glass over a folder. That is Windows Explorer and there is Windows Explorer which with which you can look at any file in your computer. The other way to get essentially to the same place and I'll close this out now is to go to your desktop where most probably in the upper left hand corner is my computer. If you double click on my computer you will get essentially the same thing. It starts out with things on the right hand side showing your computer and a bunch of things to do on the left hand side. I prefer to click this folders box and then you end up with pretty much the same thing as you do as you have in Windows Explorer. Now we're going to go back to that original question. Just where did I put that picture of my granddaughter? Well, in order to answer that question you have to get organized. You have to organize your computer with folders so that you can put your pictures, all of them, the ones that come by email, and the ones you take yourself and download from your camera, the ones that somebody gives you on a CD, so you can organize them so you can find them again. There are lots of ways to do that. You can or organize them by year, you can organize them by subject like family and then within family by different names. You can organize them by the location at which they were taken. You can do them, you can organize your computer with a little bit of each of these. That's the way mine is. Or you can sit down and decide how would you like to organize your pictures and do it 
your way. We'll now go to My Computer or Windows Explorer and do just that. First you have to remember where you put that picture that came that you just downloaded. We're still in the process of deciding what to do with that picture that came by email. Yeah, I remember, because I always do it this way, that the things I download, whether they're files or anything else, as attachments to email messages, go in documents often used, and they then they go in AOL downloads, and within that they go in the year in which I downloaded them. So if I click here, I should see over on the right hand side the picture that I just downloaded. Well, the problem is I don't remember the name of it. I could go back and look at that email that came in and down at the bottom it does have the name. But an easier way is just to go up to the top and click the date. Because when you download something, the date in which you, on which you downloaded it, which was Monday, the 12th of November, at 12.41 p.m., gets attached to that JPEG image, and there it is. That's the email, or excuse me, that's the picture that I just downloaded. And if I double-click it, it will open in whatever, I, whatever program I have set to open JPEG files. And we'll see that it is, in fact, the right picture. There we are. So, there it is. What are we going to do with it? Well, I'll show you what I would do with it, but then we'll do it, actually do it. We'll get organized on this computer as if we were doing it for the first time. If I were putting it somewhere, I would go back to My Documents here, and I would look down below My Documents, and I would see that there's a thing called My Pictures. And within a thing called My Pictures is a folder called Photos and Graphics. And within there, there's one for graphics and there's one for photos. And the one for photos has a folder in it called Family. And within the one called Family, there is one called Alexandra, who is that young lady in the skunk costume. And if I click there and look at all the the uh, ye within Alexandra, it was I, I kept the photos by year because they grow pretty fast. And I also have some that are just not filed by year. And sure enough, there we are. There is the picture that I actually had that I started with to, to build this demo. So that's the way my mind worked when I set this up. But let's say you're going to do this from scratch. You don't have any of this place to put your photos. What would you do?